Hey guys, what's up? It's Cam. Today's video is exciting. We're going to do a full face of Luna and Aster. Luna and Aster is the in-house brand for the store Blue Mercury. So the founder, Marla Beck, this is her little makeup line. Very exciting. I'm excited. The products are great and I'm excited to see what look comes about with all of this stuff. So we've got pretty much everything minus eyebrows and like an actual lip product. I have a lip liner, but um, yeah. So we're gonna see how that goes. So if you wanna hop along for that ride, then just keep watching. We're gonna start this off with the eyelid primer. I already did my brows because I don't have any Luna Nasta brow stuff. So I'm gonna pop that on my lid and then I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that out. We're gonna start with the Celestial Nudes palette. I'm gonna go into that dark brown first and I'm just gonna pop that in my crease and blend it out in a rounded out shape. Then I'm going to go next door into that lighter brown and use that just to blend out that darker brown to soften it. We're going to cut my crease now. I'm going to go in with the Hydro Glow Concealer on my lid. We're going to do a soft cut crease today, which is why I'm not carving out that area. And then I'm just going to blend it out before going back in with that dark brown just to blend out the edges there. I'm going to take the shimmery like champagne-y color in the bottom and I'm going to pop that right where we cut the crease. And then I'm going to take the shimmery brown right next door and I'm going to pop that right where the matte and the shimmer meet just to kind of bring everything together. This isn't Luna and Aster, but we're going to pretend it is because I can't find my black Luna and Aster pencil. But I'm just going to go ahead and line my lid. We're gonna start on my face now. I'm gonna go in with the Hydro Glow Serum Primer. They just launched this, and honestly, in my opinion, it's comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I really, really liked it. It's a little bit more shimmer in it than the Charlotte Tilbury, but they're very similar. Then I'm gonna go in with the Luna Naster Skin Tint. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this all over my face with my sponge. I really like this foundation. I think it's really, really good, and it's buildable too, so the coverage is fantastic. For concealer, I'm going to go in with that Hydro Glow Concealer in light. I'm going to pop it underneath my eyes, my chin, my nose, and my forehead. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. They reformulated this, so this is the new one, and I really, really liked it. It blended out beautifully. Now I'm going to go in with the Desert Moon Palette. I'm going to take the bronzer shade, and I'm going to go ahead and cream bronze. The formula of this palette is pretty similar to the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow Formula. Um, obviously, it's in a different component, but they're pretty similar. Then I'm going to go in with the blush. The blush shade was gorgeous. It was so, so pretty and it blended out really, really nicely. And then finally I went in with the highlighter and I just popped that on the tops of my cheeks. Now I'm going to go in with the Superstar Setting Powder. I think this is what it's called. It's just like a translucent powder, but it literally made my whole face look HD. It was gorgeous. Now I'm going to go into the Sunset Bronzer and Blush Palette. I'm going to start with the bronzer. Just go ahead and bronze up my skin a little bit. We're going to pop that on my cheeks, my forehead, my chin, and also on my nose. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the blush. The blush was insane. The pigment was ridiculous. I was not expecting that. And I did have to go in with my powder brush just to kind of tone it down a little bit. But it was really, really pretty. Now I'm going to go in with the Superstar Highlighter. I was not ready for how gorgeous it was going to be. Like, I literally almost died. It was so pretty. Jumping back over to my eyes, I'm going to go back in with that dark brown. I'm just going to smudge that all up underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with that lighter brown just to blend that out. Now I'm going to go into the Super Stellar Mascara. The wand was super bristly, very thick. A brush tip wand rather than a silicone and it really did lengthen and volumize my lashes which I was really stoked about. The wand is hourglass shape so it really gripped every single lash. I'm gonna pop on some false lashes. These are not Luna and Aster however I literally cannot do a look without lashes. It is a problem. Finally I forgot to show it but I'm gonna go in with my Luna and Aster lip liner in Inspired. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. This is my favorite lip liner right now. That is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. This is the full face. This is the final look. Very happy with how it came out. However, I do feel like I look a little bit textured. I don't know whose fault that is, whether it be mine, the crusty ass sponge that I use. That is a suspicious culprit, I will say. The foundation, the primer, whatever. However, I do look a little bit textured little bit weathered but that's okay for the most part it looks really good so i'm not mad at it i love the eyes i'm digging the cheeks that blush is insane that blush and bronzer duo is probably my favorite out of the bunch very very stoked so this is the whole look i hope you guys enjoyed definitely recommend checking out loon and aster they're a fantastic brand and i will see you guys in my next one bye